yeah, so I've, I've gotten into this sailing and uh, it's new for me. I'm a truck driver. I've been driving truck for 20 years and uh, just getting into the sailing and it's a learning experience. There's a lot, there's a lot about sailboats that you can learn from. Uh, the sailing part of it is, is actually fairly easy. It's, it, there's a lot of other things that go into it though. Uh, and um, uh, some difficulties that I've had uh, that other people uh, that I've talked to about it, they said, well, you know, you should share those things with other people and make it maybe other help other people out if they get themselves in the same situation. So here's a, here's a scenario uh, that I ran across uh, that others might might benefit from hearing the story is that uh, I bought a boat and it was U.S. Coast Guard registered. It was documented vessel, but the uh, the owners, the people that had the boat before me, they had never transferred the documentation into their name. They had just uh, registered it with a state. And if you have documentation with the Coast Guard on a boat, but it's not current and so you're not transferring the boat through the coast guard paperwork when you go to register that boat uh depending on the state there they'll sit there and and they'll they'll see that it's a coast guard register vessel at some point and they won't allow you to register the boat in their state if it's still documented with a previous owner with the coast guard so months and months of, of trying to figure out what all the Coast Guard needed to uh, redo the documentation on the boat and uh, going back and forth and getting, getting tons of paperwork from the past of previous owners and how the title transferred from one person to the other and all this and that. And uh, I, got, I got quite a bit of, quite a bit of the information that I needed. Um, but I was still lacking a proper bill of sale, a proper Coast Guard bill of sale, and I tried to retrieve that from the people I bought the boat from, and and they were reluctant to give it to me because they didn't have the Coast Guard documentation paperwork from the past themselves, and so they didn't feel like it was their place to to give me the proper bill of sale because they didn't have any information on the documentation. Long story short, even though I said the long story, the method of fixing this business, this problem, is if you get a boat and it's been documented previously in the Coast Guard uh, and you're trying to register it or even trying to document it yourself with the Coast Guard, your best bet is to just request a letter of deletion right off the bat. You get that boat, and there uh, you realize that it's a Coast Guard documented vessel. Send in a request for a letter of deletion with your bill of sale, and uh, uh, basically you're just stating that the the ownership has changed, and you need to delete it. There's not an issue. It's only like fifteen dollars, I think they charge to delete the documentation right once that's deleted then you register it in whatever state you want to register it in and then you can go back and document the vessel with the Coast Guard no problem no questions asked you take that doc that you take that registration that you, the boat is registered in whatever state and take it with to, to take it to the Coast Guard and document it and there's no issue whatsoever so just FYI, those people, if you if you get in a used boat and the paperwork's messy or whatever, deleting it with the Coast Guard is the absolute best bet. Uh, trying to dig up all this previous paperwork and everything, it's a lost cause. So, hope this helps somebody out there.